everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a while for those of you that um, don't know me I'm Jessica and um, yeah I usually make videos on a daily basis I have been off for quite some time those of you that are um, regular watchers will probably notice that I don't quite sound the same as I normally do in the time that I have been off since what the beginning of June I um, I have had a nasal surgery. I have had throat surgery, which is why my voice sounds so strange. I am not completely healed, which is um, why I have not done any filming. It's not how it started, but um, so yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting journey back into doing videos again. Um, most of you know that I took time off because I was a little overwhelmed with the way school was going, um, having to teach three children at home, and um, lots of other things going on. So um, that's why I originally took the time off, knowing that I was going to have surgery at some point during the summertime. I just hadn't had it scheduled yet. I didn't know what was going to happen exactly. But um, yeah, I was, I was overwhelmed in May. I finally decided for you know the beginning of June, I just needed some time off. I was originally intending to come back um, early July and um, my dog Hans, the one that you used to see running around back here or laying on the floor next to me, um, one day he was acting like the crazy puppy that we all knew and loved and a few days later he was gone. Uh, he had a very, very aggressive form of cancer that we just didn't even know that he had. Um, the vet said that uh, by the time it would show itself, it was already too late. So um, we lost our beloved Hans on July 8th. And um, yeah, it was, it was very difficult for our entire family because he was, he was a part of our family. He represented, I, I didn't want to get upset, but... Um, the first child that my husband and I became pregnant with, we lost to a miscarriage. And Hans was actually born the same week that we were originally due. So he became our firstborn child. So there was a lot of um, sentimental attachment to him, even though a lot of people would say he's just a dog. He, he wasn't just a dog, he was our child. And so that, um, that, that took a little bit to to be able to deal with and then um, when I finally started to feel a little bit human again my doctor called and was ready to schedule surgery to have um, my my nasal and throat surgery done for those of you that have followed me for a while you know I've had problems with like my nose my, my throat I get sick I have a lot of allergies and a lot of respiratory issues and um, this was to correct some of that. Um, I had a turbinate reduction surgery on my nose. There are actual bones in your, your nasal passages. I, I jokingly call them the, like the Jersey walls in your nose because they kind of regulate the flow of the traffic of the air. And um, mine were just too big. And then when my nose would um, become inflamed, I couldn't breathe at all through my nose. So, um, they burned the bone and some of the flesh inside my nose and um, reduced those um, turbinates. So now I, I'm, I'm not completely healed, but I am able to breathe a little bit better now. And I also had adult tonsillectomy, which if anyone has ever had a tonsillectomy, it is brutal. And um, mine was especially bad because my tonsils were not in good shape and probably three times the average size of tonsils, which caused problems with my sleeping. It caused problems with like my eating and everything else. But um, yeah, it, it was a hot mess in there and I am still not completely healed from that um, either. My tongue is still a little bit swollen. My throat is still sore. I still have, um, if anyone's ever had it, I still have like some of the scabs inside my throat. Still can only eat soft foods. It is what it is, but um, I just wanted to um, get on here. A lot of people have um, sent me messages, commented on some of the old videos, commented 
on Instagram, sent me messages on Instagram, commented on other people's videos and stuff like that. And I just want you all to know that um, I so appreciate all of you. I really do. You don't know how it makes my heart happy to know that you guys care because I'm just some crazy girl on the internet and a lot of you don't know me personally, though some of you actually do. Um, it really, it, it warms my heart to know that there are so many good people in the world that actually care about others and, and I just, I love doing this. I miss doing it and um, my throat is starting to wear out a little bit. I always have my water. But, um, oh, that hurts. Um, I, I miss you guys. I really do. I want to be back. I want to, um, I want to film again. I really do. So this is kind of my easing my way back in, um, letting you guys know what's going on because so many people have asked. Um, I am not going to be able to be back at my normal pace as I have been for the previous two and a half years of doing videos every single day um, with my throat and everything else, I need to kind of ease back into it. I'm sure I'm going to have a very sore throat when I'm done with this video. But I also have still my three kids that are um, starting the school year virtual learning. I'm not even going to comment on that, but um, they will be virtual learning for a while so I am still going to be mom and everything else <laughs> and trying to teach my kids at the same time so it is what it is I know a lot of people throughout the world and specifically in the US that is a little insane right now as far as whatever's going on um, y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> you all are going through the same thing for the most part so I know you get it especially the ones that have parents or that have parents that are parents and have young kids so I'm hoping sometime in the next few months that my kids will actually be able to go back to school in person and that things will ease up a little bit at home um, so I really don't know what kind of schedule I am going to be on when I feel up to filming so um, just bear with me. I am going to try to wrap up some of the projects that I had started and just they just kind of went by the wayside. I'm going to try and do some updates. There is an intro to a project that I have coming up that um, started on Instagram. It's the Panders Pan um, that was created by Kooky Pans, Elizabeth. Um, I am doing that project. I do have my Panders picked out, though I haven't contacted anyone. Some of them have are already kind of in this project. Some of them I'm not sure that they are, but um, I want to, I really want to um, do that one live. I didn't want to just do it on Instagram, so pardon me. Um, that is coming up, even though it's officially started on the first. It's coming, I promise it is. Um, there's a lot coming. I have empties for days <laughs> and um, yeah. I, I'm sure that I've missed some things. I'm sure people have questions. It's, um, Put it down in the comments because I just can't possibly remember everything that's been going on lately. It, it's just been crazy. And yes, I did lose about 14 pounds not being able to eat, but I'm still swollen here and in here. So I like, I look funny, I sound funny, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the show must go on eventually. And this is me coming back, though, again, I don't know if it's going to be like as regular as before. Um, I know it's not gonna be at first, but I, I'm gonna be easing myself back in. So um, I will have some sporadic videos for you guys. Again, questions, comments, cares, concerns, all that stuff, put it in the comments and, um, and I will try to respond as best I can. But I'm back-ish and, uh, and I'm glad to be back. I really am. Sorry. My throat's getting dry, but um, yeah, I think that is everything. It might be everything. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Something, someone, somewhere, somehow. Um, but yeah. Oh, and um, we are actually going to be getting a new puppy, not to replace Hans because nothing could ever replace him, 
but um, because our family misses having a dog in the house, um, we will be getting a new German Shepherd. He is born, but he, he can't um, be weaned until I think September 23rd. And um, I would love to know some suggestions for names for our dog. It's a male and um, tradition is German Shepherd, German name. So if you have any German name suggestions for a dog, please leave them in the comments. There's a ton that we have been talking over. Um, my kid's top pick is Jaeger, which means hunter. And um, Ludwig is another name that we have contemplated. So I'm curious, anyone out there that has a good suggestion for a German name for a German Shepherd, I would love to have that in the comments. Um, and when he is finally here in the house, I will introduce you guys to him. I'm sure he's going to be a, a bitey, crazy mess because I remember when Hans was a puppy, all he did was want to chew on me. So that is something very positive that is coming up in our lives. So that is that is a really cool thing. So suggestions, you put them down there and um, I will run them past the husband because, you know, some of the names that I chose, he's like, mm -mm, no. So maybe you guys can come up with something that we haven't thought of and um, we'll see. But once he's here, I will introduce you, let you know what name we decided on. And yeah, I think that is everything for this video because my throat is starting to wear out. And um, I need to get some things organized and prepare for the next video, which won't be, um, I won't be able to film that probably for a couple of days, but I am sort of back. So hooray or boo, depending on how you feel about that. And uh, yeah, I think that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you eventually in my next video, have a beautiful day.